Welcome to Bewley. Here we are in the river on a windy old day. You can see it's blowing pretty hard out there, but in here we've got no worries at all. We're perfectly sheltered. The new forest is all around us. The great oak trees that built Nelson's Navy are still growing strong here. The ponies are galloping away on the heath and uh, this is one of the nicest places on the south coast of England. I've kept my boat here for 25 years or more and in all that time I've never had any problems with the navigation. Which is interesting because some people imagine it's difficult. They look at the chart and they see that the bar's only got 0.9 metres on it at LAT, that's lowest astronomical tide mark you, and they think, oh I don't think I'll chance my arm with that. But actually that's nonsense. Today low water has got 1.6 metres of water above what it says on the chart. So there's two and a half metres. My boat draws 2.1 metres, so I could actually get in here at low water today with, with seven feet of draft. So what we're going to do, we're going to go down below on the boat now, and we're just going to have a look at the way I work the numbers to get in here, and then we're going to go down to the bar and have a look at what it looks like in real life. Let's have a look at the paper chart for a moment. This is the Imray chart, which most of us have got. Um, you can see there's a big wide way in here. You don't want to get involved with these drying banks, but if you look down the, 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 the entrance for the deep water, there's 0.9 metres here on the bar. That's the least you're ever going to find. That's there all the time. To make sure you're on that line, if you take a transit, that is you line up the first red beacon inside the dolphin with the left hand end of Leap House, that's the sort of Munster House inside, that will put you in the deepest water. When there's a fair amount of tide up, if you stray either side a bit, it's not the end of the world, it's not terribly important, but so long as you're on that transit near the bottom, you're fine. Now then, to work out how much water you need, let's just have a look at the situation. Here's the old-fashioned paper way of doing it. I've, 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 I've done my sums here, and I've, I've put the time of low water is 0850, and I've put that low water had 1.7 metres, High water's 3.1 metres, so at the very worst today we're going to have 1.7 metres of tide up and 0.9 metres from the chart. That gives us 2.6 metres. That's... <laughs> you know, most of us can come in at any time today, but suppose I want 2 metres. Well, I look for 2 metres down the bottom here, I go up on the line, I put my ruler across, and I come across till I find the dotted line, which is the neap tide line, make a little mark on it, go down, to the times and I find it's one, two, well about two and a half hours after low water so 10.50, about quarter past 11 would give me two metres of tide up to add to the 0.9. You might not want to do all that, you might prefer to do it electronically. Right, well it's a windy old day and uh, whichever side of Bewley we're approaching from we get ourselves to the general vicinity of this yellow racing boy here. Um, that puts you in the sort of spot you want. You can then start eyeballing the bar and uh, steer in so as to get yourself on the transit. As I mentioned, if there's a lot of tide up, the transit's not critical. But um, if you're in any doubt at all, the safest thing is to get the first red post inside the entrance in line with the left-hand side of the great big house in there. Um, you can see it quite clearly, even from out here. If it's the dark time, you can actually come in here in the dark. It's all lit. There's a very, very good directional light on the Millennium Lighthouse up there. And then as you come into the river, this first stretch of the river, we've got red and green piles, which are lit critically at uh, strategic places. Well, we're nicely inside the river now. We don't have to worry about the bar anymore. We can see where we're going. I'm going to call the marina now to see uh, what the situation is on berthing. It can get quite full, this marina, because, well, as you can imagine, it's pretty popular. If there isn't a berth up there, I don't mind, really, because I'm really happy just picking up one of these boys in the lower reach. It's a beautiful place, and sometimes it's nice just to have a, just to have a night there on your own. But if there's space up at the marina, well, that'll be grand. Usually there is, and if you're pre-booked, you can be guaranteed. So let's give them a shout and see what's happening. Bewley River Radio, Bewley River Radio. This is Yacht Constance, Constance on Channel 68. Over. We'll be up there in time for a pint of pint in the pub. Yeah, if you look astern of us now, you can see the line of red posts. And it's really important not to cut that corner when you're coming in, or particularly when you're going out, because just over here, there's a shoal 
which you can see, you can actually still see it breaking now, even at this state of the tide, with a load of tide up, just to the right of that red post. There's a little bit of land sticking up, and uh, half an hour ago there were seagulls walking on that. And in another half hour you won't see it at all. And it's very, it's, it's, uh, it's easy to come unstuck if you don't take notice of the, uh, of the red post. So go all the way to the bar when you're coming out of the river. Do not take a shortcut. Above that first corner, the river is largely marked by withies, which are these little stakes. Uh, they're painted red and green so that you know which side to leave them. It's not a smart move to go very close to these because some of them are actually placed slightly outside the deep water. So don't imagine they're like beacons you can go right up to and strike a match on them as you go past. If you try that, you might have rather a long wait for the water. So uh, give them a fair clearance, but they give you an indication of where the water is. As we're just passing Gin's Farm, we've now got a pontoon here, and these are all private berths. You need to leave this lot to starboard, really. Stay inside the river, keep them on your starboard hand as you go past. There's a speed limit sign there, five knots. And the really important secondary sign is mind your wash. And that's the big thing, really. Um, especially if you've got a motorboat and you've got a big square transom, you're pulling a fair wave behind you. It's important to look behind you and see actually how much, how much wave you're really dragging because uh, there's people, kids in dinghies and things, and also the little creatures on the riverbank don't like it much if they get a lot of wash. We're just actually approaching a little cottage on the foreshore here with a pontoon off it. There's a lump on the bottom here. It goes quite shallow as we go past here, and actually the depth at the shallowest point is exactly the same as the depth on the bar. So if you're going out to sea and you come past here and you float past here, you're going to float on the bar. And it's very, very useful to know that. So we've come round the last bend now towards Buckler's Hard. We can see Buckler's Hard in front of us. The village streets opening up dead ahead. And we can see the marina across the marshes to the right. There's a great long pontoon here, which is normally used by visitors. And if you call up the harbour staff uh, for a berth as you're coming in, that's the likelihood is that's where they'll put you, where those little motorboats are. At the far end of it is the fuel berth. And away to the right, just opening up now behind the marsh, is the marina. And you might well find a berth in the marina. The berths are all privately owned, but, uh, or privately rented. So that's the Bewley River. Not much to it, is there? But what a lovely spot. The problem I have is that I keep my boat here. And if you're in such a lovely place, uh, why do you ever want to go sailing? <laughs> you've got to ask, but I do. I get out and about. If you've got any problems when you're coming into the river, always call Channel 68. The harbour are waiting to, to, to help you. Visit the website before you come. Get the latest dope on what's going on. and. Um, that's it really. I'm going to tie my boat up now and I'm going up to the pub for a whiskey mat because I'm absolutely freezing on this winter day. It'll be lovely in the summer. Get yourself down here.